picking some of our corn today. We noticed last night, I think it was, when we were walking by the garden, we have a couple ears of corn that someone has been feasting on. I think it's probably a raccoon. I still think we have two of them nearby. And I'm, well, probably what they're doing is climbing over our fence, getting our corn and nibbling on it. This one's entirely gone. And we also found a little bit of smut, a little bit of corn smut. So we're gonna harvest today the ones that are ready and the ones that are not ready, we will leave them for a few more days. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, really sweet. We'll see what else is, hey pigs. We'll see what else is ready while we're out here too. Okay, we'll open up one of the nice ones and see how it looks. Not too bad. Missing a little bit at the top. That should be some good corn though. So, the fact is, is we're taking a risk, right? I mean, you wouldn't want to harvest your corn. Oh, look, there's a worm in there. You wouldn't want to harvest your corn until all your silks have died back that are coming out the top. And that's why Todd saw that some of the top of the corn was not yet developed yet. So we're kind of debating, like, do we risk more predator pressure or pull them all before they're ready, ready. And maybe we get, like I can tell this one kind of stops full development about right here. The development comes from pollination though, right? Yes. And the pollination should be done. Yeah, like but at this it's point, pollinated, right? but then it's gotta get down and like, it's not done growing. Yeah. It's pollinated, but it's not done growing. So, you know when it's done growing, when all the silks have died back. Okay, I'll just prove my point. <laughs> so, like here we have the tops is still not all developed yet. So, and they, I mean these kernels are tiny, tiny up, even up here, they haven't fully developed. So, I think I'm just gonna pick the ones that feel like at least halfway and then that are close and yeah, big. Yeah, like chance it, I guess, like with the rest. One? Yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not all the way died back, but. Yeah, and it's not all the way. You can tell you know, he's got fat. corn yeah. all the way mm -hmm. up to the top. So we won't waste your time out here in the garden with like what we thought was gonna be a big um, corn harvest, but we will, there's other things to harvest in the garden too. So we, we, there's more to, to be <laughs> gathered besides it's just the corn. Not clickbait? No. What the heck? I don't know if it's animals or if it's worms and bugs. Oh, I wanted that, that one. one. You can have them. You can have it. I'll pick this one. This one feels ready. <laughs> I think that's about it that's ready, really. Think so? Yeah. I mean, otherwise we're just gonna totally jip ourselves off. I've said this before in videos, um, just in case somebody's here for the first time, you know a pepper is ready to pick when you bend up the stem and it just snaps off the plant? Like like one of them, this one, I bent it up and it didn't come off. So it's not ready. about like this one right here. Right, similarly to bell peppers, you know that they're ready to harvest. I mean, you can do the pull, like see that broke off, but it could have gone a little longer. So notice you can see the ridging. Yeah. 
Once it's nice and flat and smooth, it's really ready to harvest. So. Okay, so is this one good then? Yeah, it, it's fine. I mean, it's one side looks better than another, so it was getting close. Yeah, that one's really good. Okay. Don't know what these are. I think this is a volunteer. I'm pretty sure I didn't plant this, but I did plant Cherokee tan pumpkins. I don't think that this is that. Maybe it is though. But I was, it looked nice and happy, but it got eight on the bottom. So I might try to trim that off and roast it and see what it becomes. And uh, thank you guys for telling me what these are purple hole peas. How about that? Never even had them in my life, so we're going to try it. Do you know all the bees? I do. Are they coming this far from the hive, or are they in the sunflowers? Uh, it sounds loud. Very loud. It almost sounds like a swarm. It does, very much so. Oh, I see a ton over there. Look up in the sky. Look up in the sky. Oh, I see them. Oh, they are swarming actively right now. So I think maybe this is the hive right here that's doing it or has done it. Somewhere inside of that cluster of bees is a queen from one of these hives. All right, so I went and got some bigger glass so I can get you guys up there so you can really see them. From what it looks like, there's actually, could be two swarms or the swarm hasn't combined into one giant cluster yet. So let me get you up there and show you guys what's going on. So that one that you can see way, way up there, that is definitely a cluster of bees that happens when a colony swarms. The queen and about half of the bees that are living in a colony will leave, thus making a second colony. The colony that they left from will raise a new queen, and then instead of having one colony, now you have two. That's way up there, way high up there. I don't think I can get that with a ladder or anything. Hmm. While Tide was showing you guys the bees, I went ahead and got my tomato harvest in. I'm trying to get this beauty out. Dr. Witchies. Yep, beautiful. Some really pretty ones. I pull in a basket like this um, every other day. Uh, a basket of similar size and all of the varieties. Pinks and purples and tie-dyes. And I've just been throwing them in the freezer. And eventually I'm going to bring you guys canning videos with all of this. So... I'm taking time to harvest basil because I need that for one of my videos. So stay tuned. I'm excited to share it with you. But I see basil behind Todd I need to get to. So scooch. Pretty please. So I don't know exactly what's happening with the bees. There's definitely a swarm, if not two. Oh, no. My gosh. Yeah. One is way, way too high for me to get. Really? The other one, maybe we can get it. But I did just go rebait my swarm traps. Okay. With oil. Okay. Hopefully. So after we wrap this video up, we'll get some food and then we'll come out and make a decision what we're gonna do. Sounds good. I feel dangerous for me. They like dropped almost on my head. Because oh, I was like me? filming you cutting oh. the branch. 